Hello! Today we would like to present to you the UNI-T UT-181A multimeter. This is the most precise and functional multimeter from this manufacturer. The multimeter has a number of interesting features which we will discuss later. Right now, I would like to highlight just one of them. Namely, the ability of this particular device to work in data recording mode. UNI-T has several multimeters that can record results of measurements, but they can only do that when combined with a computer or laptop. This model, however, can also do this in standalone mode. This multimeter is equipped with a built-in memory of 20,000 points. This means that if one measurement is recorded per second, a period of five and a half hours of work will be possible. Now, let's move on to the review of this device. And as always, let's start with the contents of the box. Besides the multimeter itself, it includes a user manual, a charging device, as this multimeter has a built-in lithium ion battery, two adapters, one for temperature measurements, and the other for charging the built-in battery, a USB cable for connecting it to a computer, a high-quality test lead which is also elastic and feels good in your hand, and two temperature probes. There are two of them, not because one is a spare, but because this multimeter can measure temperatures in a two-channel mode. This function is usually present in professional thermometers, but here it is implemented in what at first seems to be a regular multimeter. All of this fits into the carrying case. The multimeter is heavy and feels solid, is made of quality materials, and has a rubber coating. There is an LCD on the front panel with a resolution of 320 by 240. There are also control buttons on this panel, a rotary switch to change measurement modes, and sockets for the test leads. On the back panel, there is a special connector for the USB cable. The test lead holders and a lithium-ion battery, which is located under a retractable stand. With this multimeter, it is possible to measure AC voltage, DC voltage, temperature, and resistance. It also includes other functions, such as a continuity test with a buzzer, the ability to measure conductivity or capacitance, and diode tests. You can also measure frequency, duty cycle, and three ranges of AC and DC current measurements. The last position is used for charging the device. In order to charge the multimeter, the charging adapter is plugged into the sockets for the test leads. And then the charger is plugged directly into the adapter. The multimeter also has a hold function, which allows you to hold your measurement results. In addition to its ability to automatically choose a measurement range, you can also do this manually. There is a maximum minimum function, which shows not only the maximum and minimum values of the measurement, but also an average of them. As I have mentioned before, this multimeter can measure temperatures in a two-channel mode. Let's demonstrate this. Turn the knob to MV and press the select button. The temperature measurement mode is now active. Now we'll connect the adapter and plug in the temperature probe T1. As you can see, a temperature of 19.3 degrees Celsius is displayed. And now, temperature probe T2. Both temperature probes show 19 degrees. This is T1. I will hold it with two fingers and the temperature should go up. Yes, it does. Letting it go. And now the temperature of T2 also starts to rise. The multimeter is equipped with another very useful function, an alarm that indicates an incorrect connection of a test lead. Let's demonstrate this. The voltage measurement mode is active now. In this mode, the test lead should be connected as follows. The black test lead into the general COM jack, and the red test lead into the voltage measurement jack. Everything is working properly, 
and the multimeter displays some voltage. However, if I plug this red test lead into the current measurement jack, the multimeter shows an error message. It is good that it does this, as the resistance between those two jacks is zero. If I try to measure the voltage of some system, I will create a short circuit, which is obviously not good. Therefore, we have an error message. This function works in every measurement mode, including resistance measurements, or even current measurements. Let's switch to the 600 milliamp measurement mode. But now we have an error. Why is this? The source of the problem is that the measurement mode requires a different configuration for the test leads. The 600 milliamp measurement mode has a separate jack, right here. If I plug it in, everything is okay. If I plug it in like this, there's also an error message. If the error is critical, if you have the risk of burning something. In addition to the error message, there's also a quiet beeping sound. This is obviously a very useful function which will help users to avoid many mistakes. Now, let's demonstrate the data recording function. We will record a mains voltage value for, let's say 10 minutes. For this, we go into the Save menu, and then into the Record sub-menu. Here we can set the name for the recording, which in this case is REC underscore zero one. The interval of the recording will be one measurement per second, and the duration, let's set it to 10 minutes. So let's start. Recording has started, and as you can see, the measurement time is shown as 10 minutes. It also shows how much time is left, 9 minutes and 47 seconds, and how many samples we have recorded. In this case, it's 18 seconds, well, already 19, and, therefore, the same number of samples. Let's wait for 10 minutes and see what happens. So, almost 10 minutes have passed. You can press the stop button at any time and save the results. We will wait until the end, because as you can see, we have less than 20 seconds left. Throughout the duration of this test, our multimeter has recorded 590 samples. By the end of 10 minutes, there will be exactly 600 samples. 5 seconds left. 4, 3, 2, 1, that's it. Let's turn the backlight on. Well, the data recording has finished. Let's see what we have. The entire measurement process is saved to memory under the name REC underscore zero one. The recording interval is one measurement per second, and it has a duration of 10 minutes and 601 samples. It is very convenient that the maximum, minimum, and average values of the measurement are immediately displayed. As you can see, the maximum value is 235.79 volts, and the minimum is 231.68 volts, and the average is 233 volts, more or less stable. It's also possible to look at this as a graph, where we can switch between every point. However, it's much more convenient to do this on a computer with a larger screen. Let's get a USB cable and connect the multimeter to a computer. Connect the multimeter to a computer and launch the UNI-T software. After you press the connect button, the multimeter will be connected. Data recording has then already started automatically, and in this case, it's recording a voltage of one measurement per second. Results can be saved in either text or spreadsheet format. This function is implemented in the same way as in other UNI-T multimeters that can be connected to a computer. We, however, are interested in the results of the recording we've already made and saved. To check it, we press the Record button and choose View. A window is shown where the recorded files are displayed. 
This one in particular is our recording, REC underscore zero one. Multiple files may be stored here, and the quantity is only limited by the amount of free memory on the multimeter. We recorded one measurement per second, and the duration of the recording is 10 minutes. Maximum, minimum, and average values of the measurements are displayed here as well. And the actual result is right here. It looks like a straight line, because the voltage was not changing significantly during the period of measurement. It moved back and forth between 231 and 236 volts. You can move along the graph either with the mouse or the arrow keys. On the right side of the window, the currently selected point is displayed. 450, 451, 452, 453, etc. The amount of voltage recorded in this point is displayed here as well. This data can be saved to the computer in the record data format. However, saving it as a spreadsheet is not supported. Record data is a proprietary format that only UniT software can read. This is a controversial solution, but their software is quite functional. This has been a short review of the UniT UT181A digital multimeter. Please click like if you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out the rest of our video reviews.